Hey everybody and welcome back to Icon UK. My name is Melanie Murphy and today I am joined by Hannah Witten. Hello. And we're going to talk to you guys about a bunch of different things like relationship advice, boy advice, body confidence. This video is going to be about body confidence so if you're interested just keep on watching. So our first tip is to learn how to take compliments from people and stop putting yourself down when people say nice things to you. So do you have like experience with this yourself? Yeah, for years I just found it, and I think a lot of girls have this as well, as well. they just can't take a compliment. Like someone will say something nice about them and then it's like, no, no. You look like, for ways yeah. to, to convince the person why they're wrong. Yeah. And it's a mix. When I go out my way to say something nice to a friend, like say you, like say I said, like, oh mm. Hannah, like I love your outfit. And if you were to then like, oh, this whole thing, I've had it for years, it doesn't really suit me, blah, blah, blah. Oh, it makes me look fat or yeah. something like that. It makes your, your compliment just be a waste almost. So like, yeah. it's really lovely when I say something nice to someone and they just say, oh, thank you. Yeah. So I think that's so important. I think it's happy, like makes both people happy as well. The yes. person giving the compliment and then the person receiving it. It makes you feel better about yourself as well. And it makes you more confident when you just accept that people wouldn't say a nice thing yeah. about you if they didn't mean it. If someone gives me a compliment, I'll say, you're welcome. <laughs> As if it's their pleasure to be viewing me. <laughs> and, it, and it just makes the other person laugh a little bit as well. I'm so stealing that one. Um, I really think that the more you put yourself down, the more you start to believe those things. Yeah, so if you absolutely. feed a negative self-image, you actually start literally seeing yourself in the way that you believe that you are, rather than if you take the compliments and you yeah. look at yourself in a positive light, it just, you walk differently and yeah. just everything about it you comes across. It works that way around as well. Mm. If you listen to people who are saying nice things about you and you also say nice things about yourself, then you will believe them. Yes. Our next tip is to dress to suit your body. And I also think that another thing that goes along with that is just wear what you want and wear mm -hmm. what you feel comfortable and confident in. Yes, it's so important to pick things that are going to make you feel your best. Mm -hmm. And I definitely think dressing to suit your shape automatically does that. Mm -hmm. So say for me, like I'm apple shaped and there's all these what different- What does that mean? <laughs> apple... What does it mean? <laughs> We're not fruit. <laughs> We're like... human beings. <laughs> Um, hourglass, which you, I think, I are think hourglass. Probably. And then you have people who are pear shaped, so they might store their weight down on their bottom half. And people like me, who are apple shaped. There's all sorts Does of different ones. That just mean you're round. <laughs> it, means, it means I don't store my weight on my hips. I store it around my waist. So usually, uh. a woman's waist is her narrowest point. Mine goes the other way. So I have small <laughs> hips, a big waist, and then. It goes in then again at the top, so it's like a weird, it's kind of like a shape like an apple. Um, and it took years for me to come to terms with that and now I'm fine with it. I've kind of just stopped listening to all of these rules of like, if you look like this, you should you wear this or, you, this or you can't wear this if you look a certain way. Like stripes as well, like people yeah, will say if you're I not super thin. I now love wearing stripes, like really? horizontal stripes. And also I thought for ages that I couldn't wear crop tops because I've got such a short body. Yeah. And then I just kind of went, you know what? I want to wear a crop top. I do that sometimes too, even though my midsection is like my yeah. part that I'm self-conscious of. Sometimes I will wear like a crop top with a kind of high-waisted mm. things. And, and I don't care that I'm not necessarily like, you know, the way it looks in the magazines. Yeah. I just feel good in it now. So I definitely, definitely urge you to like, find things for your wardrobe that you're just going to throw on and you're going to feel great in it. So our next tip is to remind yourself of all the things that you actually like about your body mm -hmm. because it's so easy to focus on the negative things and every single person I've ever met has wanted to change something about themselves yeah. and it's you know I think we're socialized in a certain way to view ourselves a certain way but when I was growing up, I know that until a certain age, all I did was look at the negative things in the mirror. Right, yeah. So I would notice my acne or I would think that I had love handles or my ears were too big or whatever, you know, my face is asymmetrical. But then someone sat me down one day and they were like, the more you feed that, the more you're just going to see those things and yeah. hate those things. And then you'll find more things that you don't like as well. Yeah. I think it's really healthy to um, find one thing that you like about yourself, that you like about your body, and like look at yourself in the mirror and find what that thing is and like tell yourself that you like that thing. 
over and over. So yeah. even if it's just one thing, like I've got really great nail beds, I've got <laughs> great nostrils, you know, like just the best nostrils. Just go like I've got a really cool belly button, <laughs> like whatever it is, like find that one thing that you like about yourself. Yeah, and then say that to yourself like every day when you're like getting ready in the morning. And then, and you then one day you'll be like, oh, here's another thing that I found that I like about yes, myself. Yes, it does, it like, it's like a ripple I also effect. like my earlobes. <laughs> They're pretty damn sweet. <laughs> Our next tip is to remember that people in magazines and movies and on social media are all photoshopped. And if they're not photoshopped, they're filtered. I could probably take you through right now exactly what I do to all of my Instagrams oh, yes. and Ooh. all the filters that I put on it. Yeah, but lighting, yeah. You know, they've lighting, they've hair, they've makeup. It, it's so easy to yeah. take a good selfie. That's It's representing a, an image of, of the person, but that's not what they look like all the time. Yeah. And everyone that you see in the media has a lot of help to look the, the way they do. And a lot of them will have personal trainers and dietitians and all this kind of stuff. Yeah. So, and then on top of that, on top of physically having all of this help and then in a magazine photo shoot having hair and makeup and a stylist. Still touched up. It's then still airbrushed yep. and touched up um, in Photoshop afterwards. Yep. And so it's about looking at these images and kind of just understanding that that's not realistic. Yeah, once you know that it's a construction, yeah. it's easy to appreciate it as a piece of art or something like that you know the way you would see a painting of a person that's not real but it's still beautiful just don't don't compare yourself yeah. to these images the world is so full of beauty in all shapes and sizes and different forms and if we all looked the same it would be so boring so do remember that every time you look at your magazine shelf in your local shop Our next tip is to stop comparing yourself to other people. And this is something I see so many people doing and I mm -hmm. definitely used to do it. I definitely used to sit in a circle of girls and I would be like, I wish I had her hair, I wish I had her boobs, I wish I had her lips, I wish I was as thin as her. And then I realized uh, uh. that all those girls think the same things. Yeah. And yeah. which, it blows my mind. Then it's like, what is the point? There, there's no point in, in doing that. It is about kind of getting to the core. not, not yeah. wanting to change yourself to exactly. be like that person. Exactly, and getting to like the core of your own like body confidence and self-love so that you can still appreciate other people's bodies and different bodies, um, but without being like, I wish mine was like that. Because individuality and like uniqueness are so important. So that's why I just think it's silly for us to compare ourselves to others and think, you know, oh well, if she has you know, she has a boob job and her boobs look amazing now. I, I need to get a boob job and stuff. You should never feel like you have to do something because someone else has done it or anything like that. Mm -hmm. Our next tip is to talk to your friends because you'll soon find that you're not the only person who thinks like this, but you have to be careful that you don't enable each other and start body shaming yes. yourselves. <laughs> Have you ever been at one of those sleepovers where you all sit there and you all feed into each other's negative self-image and it's so negative. It's a really easy trap to fall into as well. Mm -hmm. But it is still a good thing to talk to your friends. Because sometimes I'll go to a friend because I've been having a bit of a bad time with like one of the parts of my body that I don't feel good about. And saying that to a friend is always really good because then they'll just be like, you're an idiot. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. they then will make you feel good about yourself, they'll make you remember the yeah. things that are like beautiful about you, that is so easy to forget when mm -hmm. you do start focusing on the negative. And also, you'd be shocked at the things that your friends are insecure about. Oh yeah. Because you might look at your friend and think that they're stunning and that they've got all of this great stuff going for them. And they'll come to you and they'll say, I'm feeling really insecure about this at the moment. Some of the most beautiful people I've seen, like women and men, have been the most insecure people I've ever met as well. And, and so that, that really puts into perspective mm. your own views on yourself because it makes you question your own thoughts about yourself when you see people who you find attractive and beautiful think badly about themselves. Our next tip is to focus on your friends and your hobbies. Keeping busy and doing fun things will just preoccupy your mind with all that good stuff instead of the small things that will get you down. Yeah, because there's so much more to life than mm -hmm. focusing on your external appearance and stuff like that. Yeah. Life, like once you let that go, 
life is so good yeah. and you get so happy and with that then comes confidence which and is I so important. And I find that when I'm distracted because I'm doing something that I love like if it's work or a hobby or like hanging out with friends you're not thinking about there's no space because yeah. you're busy thinking yeah, you about how much fun you're having <laughs> yeah. and you don't really have time to be constantly body checking. Yeah I think the more you keep to yourself and don't put yourself out there and stuff that makes it easier to yeah. be down on yourself so definitely keeping busy and filling your day with a lot of fun stuff is yeah. such a good tip and so important and also just appreciate your body because it's your body that allows you to do all those things yeah that allows you to move and go dance and drink and eat and talk to your friends and yeah. all that stuff that's your body that's doing those so you've got to yeah. like love it be like thanks body for yeah. letting me have a great my day my body's a temple too remember that <laughs> <laughs> and it is it's so important and it's like it shouldn't be thought of as this thing that has to look good for other people it doesn't you're not there to please other people's eyeballs like you're there to live and to have your life so focus on that and focus on yourself and your brain and then you will be happy with yourself so those were our body confidence tips guys really hope you enjoyed it and if you want to see more of me and hannah talking about lots of different things make sure you subscribe to icon uk and you can watch another video by clicking right here yeah. Bye.